Hi everyone, I'm Kate Hanna and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making Ninja Pressure Cooker Tomato Soup. You can also use your instant pot or any electric pressure cooker to make this recipe. Sounds good? Let's get started. You will require two tablespoons of cooking oil, butter or margarine. You're also going to be needing some onion for this recipe. You'll need one medium sized onion. Mine is quite large, so I'm just making it smaller. You're also going to need some garlic, about four to six cloves, which we are going to peel and slice. And you don't have to finely cut the garlic as we're going to be blending it in the soup. You also need some low sodium vegetable stock. I'm using about two cups or so half a liter, a teaspoon of smoked or sweet paprika. You're also going to be using two tablespoons of tomato paste. We're also going to be using some basil, fresh basil, salt to taste. And you'll also need some black pepper to taste. And the star of the dish, tomatoes. I like to go for meatier varieties with less seeds such as Roma. San Marzano is another great variety that you can use because of its sweet taste profile and low acidity level. Now that we're done with our prep, let's get our ninja and get to making our soup. Start by setting your ninja foodie instant pot or electric pressure cooker to the saute function. We're going to saute the onions for about four to six minutes. We're then going to stir in the garlic and just allow this to cook for about a minute. Next, add the vegetable stock. And in case you have any bits sticking in the pot, just try to scrape this off with a wooden spoon. Next goes in the tomatoes. You want to wash them, remove the stemmy ends, and just chop them up roughly. Add tomato paste to the pot. Paprika powder. Pepper. We're then going to change the function from sauté to pressure cooking. So we're just going to cancel this. Close the lid. Make sure the valve is set to seal and press start to kickstart the pressure cooking process. And we're going to set the time to 15 minutes. It'll take about 10 minutes to come to pressure and then it'll start um, cooking. Do a quick pressure release to release any remaining pressure. You then just want to use your hand blender to puree the tomato soup. Once smooth and creamy, you just want to add heavy cream. At this point, I like to pass the soup through a sieve to get rid of any skin that may not be properly blended. Once done, transfer the soup to bowls, garnish with some basil and serve. 